Great white sharks in the waters off our coastline may be more common than we thought. That's according to a new study out of Cal State Long Beach. KCAL News reporter Leslie Marin is live in Long Beach tonight with the surprising research. Leslie. Juan, well, this is a first of its kind study, and I will tell you it shows us that sharks are more like us than we think, and we need to start getting just more comfortable with having them in the same waters that we enjoy. I'm swimming. Not much could stop eight year old Bailey from taking a quick dip Tuesday night in Long Beach, except for. I'm pretty cold. But Bailey and all the rest of us that enjoy the Southern California coast aren't the only ones with complaints. Sharks are also picky when it comes to their water temperature. What I found is that they're not that different from Southern Californians in that they're pretty picky in the temperatures that they like to swim in and occupy. Emily Spurgeon is with the Shark Lab at Cal State Long Beach. We have a leopard shark and then a horn shark here. For the last two years, she's helped tag and trace the moves of nearly two dozen juvenile white sharks in Southern California. And what she found was, first, sharks seek out warmer water. They especially enjoy the conditions in Southern California waters between spring and fall, much like us. So that optimal temperature in order to grow as fast as they can to survive, we found was about 68 to 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Second, these juvenile great whites prefer swimming in shallow water. Spurgeon found nearly 75% of the time they were no more than six feet deep. Protection from predators, you know, the bigger ones aren't that close to shore. Also a lot of food to eat, they're eating stingrays, small fish, but it also is warmer closer to shore. And so the adults will spend a lot more time farther offshore in deeper, colder water. But these juveniles, because the shore is so close or so warm, that's why they're swimming where all the people also like to swim. Which could be unnerving for some. I'm kind of terrified of it. So. Be pretty close to you and then. <laughs> but this is exactly why Spurgeon says more funding is needed for studies like this one that proved to be vital to keep us all safe. We kind of need to understand what drives that movement to to let the lifeguards and the public know what to expect, but also to understand how to conserve the species. And Spurgeon's next research, she wants to sh study the relationship between sharks, much like the relationships we build as humans. Again, the sharks being found closer to shore are juvenile or baby sharks that are trying to get away from predators. Reporting live in Long Beach, Leslie Marine, KCAL News. Quite the fascinating study. Leslie, thank you.